Hey teachers, if you are showing a YouTube video and you need to have two subtitles showing at the same time, then go to the Chrome Web Store and type in YouTube Dual Subtitles. You'll go ahead and over here it'll say Add to Chrome. You'll click that button and it'll put it right up here in your toolbar. Now if you're not seeing it up here, click the puzzle piece, find it, right here it is, and click the pin. And by clicking the pin, you will put it up here in your toolbar for easy access. Here it is. We're going to come back to this in a moment so I can kind of show you some of the tools it offers. But first, let's head over to a YouTube video. Now, one thing to note is with the dual subtitles extension, one of the subtitles is going to be in English. So this is going to be if you have a student who needs English subtitles. The second subtitle you can customize to any language that you need. So one subtitle English, one subtitle a different language. All right, so just come here to your settings. And because you've added this extension, some of the options in your settings uh, have changed. So that first subtitles link, that's going to be your auto-generated or your English subtitle. So we don't want to change that. We're going to leave that as is. Instead, we're going to come down here to our default subtitles, and here's where we could choose any language we want. What does single subtitle mean? Well, if I'm showing a video, a quick way to change it from two subtitles to one is to just toggle that off, and you'll see I just have Spanish now, so it takes away that English subtitle. But if I need both subtitles, quickly toggle it on, and now I have both English and Spanish showing. All right, let me come back to that extension. If I click this paint can on, you're going to notice how much bigger my subtitles get. And I can change English to bigger or smaller, but Spanish is staying about the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle that off so that they're not so big taking over my screen. The other thing I can do is the size between them. So watch as I make the space between the subtitles bigger and smaller. So I think it's probably good to have a little bit of space just so we don't confuse our students who are reading the captions, but I don't think I want so much space that it impedes in the video. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of space. All right, I'm going to play the video. You won't be able to hear it, but as it plays, you're going to see those captions changing. And of course, you're going to notice the top one is English and the bottom one is Spanish. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks.